Hey guys, welcome back to Six Sister Stuff. Today I'm sharing with you what is in my 72 hour kit or also known as the bug out bag. So if you're new to the channel, welcome. My name is Kristen and usually I share simple, easy recipes so you guys can get dinner on the table. But I wanted to share something that I'm a little bit passionate about. If you don't know what a 72 hour kit or bug out bag is, Pay attention because they're amazing. A few years ago, when my husband was in medical school, at three in the morning, we got a knock on the door, like huge pounding knock, and it was the SWAT team. There was an emergency, there was a church across the street, and there was a hold up there. And so they came into our house and they said, okay, you need to leave. But because of the situation of where our garage was, we couldn't pull out our car. So it's three in the morning. We are taking, ripping my little babies out of their beds and we're leaving the, into the back of the house. And we literally had nothing. They said you had about one minute to get out of the house. So we're just grabbing shoes, grabbing coats, grabbing whatever we could find. And we are trying to exit as quickly as we can. What I would give if I had some sort of bag with clothes, food, even just snacks and toys or something to do until we could find help or find someone that could come pick us up. A few years later, we moved to Texas. One day there was a tornado that came right into our neighborhood. So the footage that you see right now, that's the footage right next to our kids' elementary school. So thankfully it didn't hit our house, but it affected a lot of our neighbors. And it just made me think like, oh, I need a 72 hour emergency kit. I decided, you know what, this is important to me. So that's why I'm excited to share it with you. You guys are ready. I'm, I'm excited to show you. Now I started mine with six backpacks. I picked colors that was my girl's favorite color so they knew which backpack was theirs. And then my husband and I, we had the extra ones that we've actually used, the kids have used for school. Cause we don't need to get brand new ones. We just need backpacks. There are four sections in my 72 hour kit. Number one is food. Number two is clothes. Everyone needs clothes. Number three is toiletries. And then the last one is emergency essentials. Now the first one is food. I like to pick food that one, my kids will eat, and two, that will last a whole year because I only switch this out once a year. So I made individual baggies each day. Everyone will have all the food in each individual bag. And I labeled everything so my kids could help me pack it up. So day one for breakfast, I have granola bar, applesauce, and a premier protein shake. For lunch is a little bit of trail mix, and then some beef jerky. I found some Slim Jims and then some oranges. Then for dinner, I have this chicken salad kit. My kids love these. Some goldfish, they love those too, and a little box of raisins. Now notice I put dad on there, so this is dad day one. Zip it all up and then you can put it aside. Next up is day two. Then we have a different kind of granola bar and an applesauce. For lunch, we're gonna have some Jif to go peanut butter. I'm gonna have some animal crackers that they can dip into the peanut butter. And last, I have some fruit leather strips. Next, we have rice and chicken and vegetables. And then on the side, we're just having the mandarin oranges. Now it's time for day three and everything that's going in it. So we're gonna start for, with a premier protein for breakfast, and then also a different kind of granola bar and then applesauce. For lunch, I'm packing a tuna salad kit with two more of the beef sticks, and then again, some mandarin oranges. And then for dinner, we're just having some spaghetti and meatballs. I love this because you don't have to heat it up and you can eat it with a fork, and then some goldfish. Now, this isn't a ton of food, I do realize this, but this is just in case we're in an emergency. And of course, don't forget to put water in there. We'll talk more about water in just a minute. I also like to throw a few plastic forks in there so we have utensils to eat with. Number two is clothes. You never know what the weather's gonna be when something happens, so we always just make sure we have long pants, extra underwear, socks, and a long sleeve shirt. Now you can throw a jacket in there also, but I just like to fold them all together for each individual person. Then I'll put them actually in a Ziploc bag if they fit and put that bag into their own backpack. Now if you notice, I could actually put my daughter's shoes in there too, but just make sure you have sandals or some sort of shoes in case you just need to run out. Now the third thing I pack in there is toiletries. Now every single person I pack a hand sanitizer just in case you just, it's the easiest way to clean your hands. And instead of normal toilet paper, we have flushable wipes because you can use them for many reasons. I pack everyone their own toothbrush and also their own toothpaste. Then we have soap and a washcloth. You just wanna make sure your soap is unscented just so it doesn't make everything else in your bag smell. I also grabbed a few tissues just so everyone could have those. 
Now I like to pack a little hand lotion in there and any female products that you might need. Now make sure that if you have multiple females, you think ahead. There are five girls in my family, so we're gonna pack hair elastics, but those might be useful in other ways too. And last, I got a little brush with a mirror. Now I got all of my toiletries from the Dollar Tree, so it wasn't very expensive. Number four is our emergency essentials, things that would come in really handy. So I have these great lanterns that I got. It comes in packs of four. I got these on Amazon. Now at Walmart, I found these for a dollar. They're perfect for the kids. They're just little headlamps and yes, I love them. Now my husband said I need to put this in there. So this is just a simple knife that he has just in case you just never know when you need something to be cut. Next up is waterproof matches. Now these are nice to have just in case you never know if things are gonna get wet. I got these from Amazon, super cheap. Next up is my crank radio. Now I keep it in its plastic still just because I'm trying to make it as waterproof as I possibly can. I love that it has the crank on the back so you don't need any batteries and yes, it will work for what I need it to work for. Next is a solar power portable charger. Again, still in this plastic, keeping it waterproof. And yes, I love it because there's different things that you can plug in and charge. This is perfect if you have power outages too, which has been happening a lot lately. Next, I have ponchos. You just never know if you're stuck outside, it's raining, you need to keep things dry. And I love these Mylar thermal blankets. They're super little, but they can keep you warm. Then I just threw in a garbage bag for everyone because you just never know when you need a garbage bag and it can take up a little amount of space. Now onto the water section, these are life straws. Now my husband and I, we love hiking. We use these when we hike and they work amazingly. So we have a few of these and then we also have some, it's a life straw with like a jug onto it. So you can fill it up, fill up the jug and then it has the stuff inside. So you can actually just pop the lid off and drink it just like that. And it makes it a little bit easier with kids. Now, if something happens and it's all dark, kids can be a little afraid. So I love to go to the Dollar Tree. You can find all kinds of glow sticks, glow lights there. So everyone gets one of those big ones. And then I bought a bunch of little ones so they can break a few. You can have a few every night just in case. Now, when our tornado came through, lots of people got separated. So we have one first aid kit for my husband. And then we also have a second first aid kit for me, just in case we're separated and we need those essential things. If you have to walk for a long time, moleskins will be your best friends. <laughs> I love them. I love them when I go hiking and when I run long races. Now it's time for the medicine. Now this is the medicine I'm putting in my bag, but make sure you put medicine that will work for your family. So we have migraine medicine. We have Advil just in case you have a small headache or need to relieve some pain. Tylenol for fevers. We also have some sunscreen just in case you're out in the sun. This is just a stick that you can rub on your face or arms or whatever you need. Then we have anti-diarrhea just because if you have diarrhea and there's not a lot of water, this is diarrhea is not good to have. Then it's 2021, we're still wearing my face masks, so ooh, hopefully that won't last longer. <laughs> then we have scissors. You just never know when you need scissors, so I'm just packing them in a few bags. Now, this is a clear plastic container where I'll actually keep some forms like birth certificates, those types of things. I'll put those in when we're ready to pack everything up. Now, you want something you can write on, on pretty much anything. So Sharpie is the thing that I'm packing. I'm packing one in each individual bag just in case. Now duct tape, I got this at the Dollar Tree. It might not be the best duct tape, but it will get the job done for little jobs. I have two bags of cash that I'm bringing. It's $100 in each bag. Just in case my husband and I separate, they'll be in two different bags. And number five is any extras that you need. Now this is the stuff that I'll pack for my family. We have a dog and a cat, so we'll pack little packages for them so they can have some dog food. And then I needed some things for the kids to keep them entertained. So I got a coloring book, some colored pencils because they don't melt. And then we got a card game and any other fun games you can think of that you can throw in there that are small that will fit. Then I got a bag of Jolly Ranchers just because sometimes kids just need something to suck on. I guess adults do too. I put everything in the bags. Now I did need to use an extra bag for the extra things. So when we run out, my husband will know he needs to grab both bags. Now my last secret is you need to put it somewhere where you can grab it. This is actually my closet. We put little hooks up so they are accessible so you can grab them and run out the door. Now if I'm missing anything, please comment down below what you would put in yours. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and I'll see you guys next week. Bye.